all that much with uh, with brand communications. So it was really, you know, our opportunity to kind of put a stake in the ground and and reestablish a brand that has a great history, like a really, really rich history. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll just take you through this kind of top line. So Make Waves Part One was really um, the first brand film in in some time. So what we're doing here is looking at continuing that. So. Um, part one was all about a group of friends who are having a dreamy kind of epic Southern California getaway. Uh, and now to, to keep this fresh, what we want to do is we want to uh, take this to a new coast in a new season. So we want to keep the same kind of energy. We want to keep the same kind of vibe that we had in part one, uh, but we want to freshen it up. And that's, that's where you come in. Okay. So uh, part two is uh, one of the big switches here is that we are now talking about uh, late summer, early fall. That influences a lot of things. Obviously, influences wardrobe, influences the footwear, influences the color palette that we're gonna we're gonna be looking at for for the film. Um, and as I say, we want to take it to a, a, a new location as well. So the notion here is to take this to the uh, to the northeast. Um, so obviously, just a, a very different kind of a look. Uh, and we're looking at a different seasonality. So that's going to be uh, the change that's going to be coming through in terms of how we shoot this. Still going to be very fashion relevant. Um, still going to be about showcasing a group of people having a great time. It's an opportunity to, to show what they do, what they wear, how they wear it, what the attitude is, you know, and that then connects to the brand in terms of what the brand stands for and, and who the brand stands with, as we, as we put it. So the deliverables here um, are going to be uh, one 30 second video, um, two 15 second cut downs and four to six, uh, six second cut downs. So we are hoping we can also find a way to get stills on the day because stills are such a great thing for us to have for, you know, for social and for lots of other applications. Um, so we're going to see if we can, we can work that in in some way as well. Uh, yeah, so here's the strategy. So um, uh, Sperry is a brand that was born on the water. Sperry is the originator of the first boat shoe. So we feel it's our obligation to expand the story of coastal culture and invite the whole world to em embrace its broadening definition. So we want Sperry to be the driving force behind creating and articulating the next chapter in this coastal story, inviting an anchored optimists, that's our, our key target, and the world at large to experience all its dimensions. So really, you know, this is all about being close to the water, being on the water, being in the water. It's a celebration of water and and the the connection between uh, between people and the water, which is just you know undeniably strong. So then we get into some scripts and some visual direction. So if you uh, if you saw uh, part one, then here's really you know, our vision for how we pivot to, uh, to part two. We're calling this late summer haze. So as the season shift, there's a forward momentum moving us toward new destinations, new coastal experiences. So we will continue our journey from part one from Southern California to a new coast, and that is the Northeast. So the, the change here is that the deep sandy shores become dotted with colorful rocks and tidal pools. The palms will turn to pines and grasses. Uh, the pastel colors that we had in part one, we want to get richer and deeper to reflect that kind of late summer haze. So what happens in terms of the action is our models enjoy late afternoon swims when the sun hangs high, uh, early evening bonfires by the shore. Um, and then we're going to actually take them into, into town for, for something to eat. Gives them an opportunity and a reason to get a little bit more dressed up. Um, but really, we want to celebrate all the color and vitality of, of late summer as we ease into cooler temperatures uh, of early fall and, and just embrace the changing of the seasons um, and to just dimensionalize, make waves uh, in a new way, in a new location. So we've put together some sample uh, visual moments, we're calling them. We don't want you to feel like we are, you know, married to these absolutely these are just samples these are, this is imagery that we've grabbed from you know a number of different sources but i think it's going to help to give a clearer sense um of the kind of things that we're looking for so i'll just take you through uh the numbers one by one um one thing we want to do here versus part one is whenever we can is to get in a little bit tighter and get a bit more textural stuff 
we love the notion of, you know, picking up, you know, the rocks on the shore or, you know, might be something with a, a water effect, like water behind a boat, that kind of thing. But we feel like there's an opportunity to come in a little bit tighter and get some stuff that feels intimate and, and, and interesting texturally. Um, so we want to pick up some, you know, some, some rocky northern coastal